happened between you two? They got married? Well, uh, okay, so it's all the stuff about I don't want to talk about him. This has nothing to do with him. Can I go home now, please? Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay, one more question. This is just a formality, but I have to ask, are you going to do it again? That's a hard one. I don't know. But hey, I've got it. The answer is no, I'm not. Thank you very much. Excellent. We're nearly done here. There's just one more thing I must clear with you. What exactly happened last night? Well, after I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room and fell asleep. I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. She said we needed to talk. We must go, Susan. You are not safe here. But... Please, you must follow me. Quickly. I don't remember this. Oh, hang on. My... Oh, it's... it's uh... Okay. I went after her. The ward seemed very quiet. It must have been late at night. Hurry! Wait for me. Tell me what's going on here. Where am I? The security guys were gone. She pointed at the corridor and said, You go first. I'll explain everything in a minute. What the hell? Susan, if we don't escape now, they're going to hurt you. Please trust me. I know a way out of here. I'll help you escape. Let's go down this corridor. I'll be right behind you. I think I can hear someone coming. Damn it! We can't go through there. Let's turn back, Susan. I know another way. Turn left here. We can use the maintenance lift to get us out of this place. What are we doing on the roof? Liz! What the hell are you doing? And why is there blood on your clothes? Liz! It's quicker than the stairs. And besides, all the doors are locked anyway. This is the only way out of here. The only escape. Let's both jump. It won't hurt, you'll see. You've lost your mind. Get down here right now! I've made up my mind. I need to end this suffering now. Besides, I have no one to live for anyway. No one ever listened to me. No one ever cared. I listened. You're a nice girl. You have your whole life ahead of you. You listened. Did you really? Of course I did. You talk a lot, but I've always been a good listener. I liked talking to you. So do you remember that story then? The one I told you the other night? The one about the woman in A and E? Yeah. She smoked a cigarette and burned in bed. Okay. You have listened. Maybe you're right. 
Or maybe it was just a blind guess. But I must jump anyway. I have no choice. Wait! Please stop and think for a second. Did you not hear what I said? I have no choice. Yes, you do. You can choose to come back inside with me and we'll just forget this like it never happened, okay? Do you remember that other thing I told you? I'm sure I told you about my flatmates. Did I tell you what one of them does for a living? I bet you don't remember that. She's a stripper. Yes. Or at least that's what I think she is. You've listened. I just wish other people did. I'm sure they do. It can't be that bad. What do you know? Why do you care anyway? I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. I thought you of all people knew how it feels. When you're trapped and you can't trust anyone. Look, I'm sure there must be someone who cares about you. My colleagues don't care. My family don't care. Even my fucking boyfriend never cared. He said he needed to go find himself. Did I tell you when he broke up with me? Uh... On Valentine's Day. Yes. Valentine's Day. You and I could have been good friends, you know. Oh, you really listened to everything I said after all. I... I'll be back. When you need help, I'll be there, Susan. But right now, it's time for me to let go. No! After that, I went back. I tried telling people about Liz, but they all thought I was crazy again and didn't believe me. And you were absolutely sure you saw Liz jump off this building? You know, it doesn't matter. I just want to finish this and get some fresh air. Susan, I know Liz well. She wouldn't do something like that. As a matter of fact, I saw her this morning. She's fine. I'd like you to come with me and see her. Say hi. Make sure she's alright. Stop treating me like I'm crazy. Fine. I'll go. I don't even care that much anyway. The door is locked? I plan ahead, Sus. I had a feeling in my gut, and my gut's never wrong. I feel like I really got to know you, though. I'm very sorry you've had such a difficult life. I like your green eyes and your sleek cheekbones. You're a clever girl, Susan, but the sadness has poisoned you for too long. There is no coming back from it. For what it's worth, I would have let you go if it wasn't for Liz. Two doors. 
personally out of this place. One of them will simply take Susan back to where she belongs. But behind the other one, there is a great reward for her. It's something she always wanted. Something she longs for every single day. Where are those doors? I can't see them. Just walk back to the right side of the stage. I believe the Susan can miss them. Oh, sorry, the right side of the stage. Oh yeah. What the? Does Susan like my girls? I knew she would. Whatever they are, tell them to stop staring. But they are here to guide Susan. They are the guardians of the doors. They know which door she should enter to get her rewards. But there is one problem. There's always a problem. I'm not even surprised. Which door should I go through? I will leave that to Susan's own best judgment. But this might be her only chance to find what she had lost. Wasted. Susan will never get it back. Susan has one question. And she can only ask one of them. She must use it wisely. Fine. I can do that. But what's the catch? It's very simple. Oh god. One of my girls always tells the truth. Mm. While the other one always lies. Oh, and I'm guessing you can't tell me which is which? It's something I've forgotten myself a long time ago, Susan. But does it really matter? What I'm questioning is all Susan needs to find the right door. If somebody at work was giving me something like this. That'll teach you to stop staring, you horrible, ugly, dull. You're just an ugly, disgusting, disfigured, foul, hideous thing. So this is going to take me a while because there's, I know it's a typical, typical kind of riddle. I mean, it's an easy answer, but as usual, I cannot think what it is. So, so which door should I enter? Then if that's the lying one, then she'll tell me to take the other one, which is the wrong one. Then I won't know which one's which. Which door will lead me to my reward? She will choose the opposite one, but I don't know. Which door will take me back to my world again? Is the door to the left the one I should open? The door to the left the one I should open. If she says yes, then I open it. If she says no... Which door would the other... Ah, hang on. Which door would the other doll point me to? I think this is the question. I think this is the one. So I can't use my mouse. So, which door would the other doll point me to? So, if this one's lying or telling the truth, she will say the left one. And then, if if the the right one, the left one said the left one, she's telling the truth. If she says the left one, and the doll on the right says the right one, oh, the doll on the left says the right one, then she's lying. Let's try that. Which door would the other doll point me to? So the right door. Shit, no, 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 no. Oh, is that the question? Oh, bollocks! Oh, I forgot you can only ask one question. Shit. 
which door the other doll point to so she says there she's telling the truth oh fuck oh well I've cocked this one up uh, let's go for it help me is this the right one I think I've gone wrong where am I I'm back in this room. Let's blow a candle out. Yes, I chose the right door. I chose the right door. <laughs> God. What's this? Just the wrong door, that's me in it. You treacherous, dirty bastard. I opened my heart to you, and you stabbed me to death in cold blood. You'll pay for this. I swear you will. But this means the old woman was right. I can't die. I'm immortal. I think it's time to find out how very mortal you are, Doctor.
so I need the lights to come back on something. Oh. You're gonna pay for this, you bastard. Great, I've got that wooden bar on there, but I can't get it back, unfortunately. Oh, what mean? Thank you. 
I don't need eyes to enjoy your fear. Scream louder, little bitch! Scream your lungs out! Louder, I said! Yes, this is by far my favorite of songs. Would you like me to dance for you? Unlike you, I know all art needs to be appreciated. Your scream is like a poem without words. Your body, an instrument. I never thought you had it in you. And yet you make every fiber in my body tremble with excitement. Your body will forever be admired by those like me who understand the only pure and true form of art. Well, I'm going to stop that there and carry on to uh, another night, but... My... God! <laughs> I'm going to have nightmares the rest of my night. Right, I'll come back to that.